Welcome Pisces and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box if you ever want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. That means this could resonate for you, past, present, or future. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Alright, what do we have, please, Spirit? Nope, didn't want to flip. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What messages do we There we go. We have two cards. Wow. Okay, straight away. We have secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So someone may not have fully told you what it is that they feel about you and what they want with this connection. And this one here says, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we're always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Um, and for your crystal today, really interestingly enough, we have a card here about space and time. I was meditating with lapis for your reading today, so you may want to look at the metaphysical properties of lapis or use it in your own daily meditations. Um, this particular crystal here always reminds me of like a globe, of like the world. So you guys could be separated by an ocean, you guys could be separated by distance, okay? Um, it, this it also reminds me of like the world card, so you know, this it could be a new chapter opening for some of you. Somebody could be coming forward here. A trip being planned, perhaps. All right. Thank you so much to my returning subscribers. Thank you to those of you who are just subscribing. I really, truly appreciate all of your love and support. Um, thank you for those of you who just sent a donation to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Oh, we got something to flip. What is it? A time for healing and communication is key. Gemini energy. All of the decks that I use are always listed in the description box below. All right, Pisces. What is, what's going on in this connection, please, Spirit? There we go. <clears throat> Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. There is the Wheel of Fortune, so destiny, things coming together, a faded connection, perhaps, a faded meeting, perhaps. The Seven of Pentacles and the Devil, Capricorn energy. So, with this Queen of Swords energy, whether you're physically male or female, you could be thinking about an air sign, but I feel this is trying to calculate something, trying to understand something. You've been waiting. You've been in this place of wondering, feeling maybe anxious for things to move forward. There's a connection that you feel bound to, a person perhaps that you feel like you can't seem to release no matter what you do. You know, in this connection, it's something that you you feel you feel it's faded, right? And the Wheel of Fortune is an omen of good luck. It does talk about destiny as well and timing. The Queen of Swords is somebody who's very strong. You know, she's very intelligent. You know, she's very open. You know, she It's very truthful, very honest, and I feel there's like this strength here projecting from you. It's like, you know, people give this person that reputation of being cold or heartless, you know. The Queen of Swords is just somebody who thinks more logically, rationally. They don't act on pure emotion. They're very self-controlled, disciplined, okay? And I do feel that here with you. It's like you're trying not to lay all your cards on the table. You're waiting for something to come together. Because again, eh. Like with this, I just see her like standing her ground. Like she's waiting. You're waiting for them to come to you. You're waiting for them to come to you. And you do like say it's about timing. And I feel like you've been waiting maybe perhaps quite some time. Some of you, this could have been like a very on and off again kind of situation. Because again, I feel her like anxious here. Okay, like waiting. Seven of Pentacles. You know, done all the work and now waiting for things to move forward. Waiting for things to come together. So you feel bound to this person, you can't seem to kind of get them out of your mind, get them out of your energy. This is also a strong desire to be able to manifest and create something, right? Let's look at your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and potential actions towards you. Alright. We have the Page of Cups here, so give it on with a fellow water sign. 
Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There could be an age difference here to the two of you. They could be seeing you as someone who's more mature, older, just composed. Um, and you could be seeing the person that's maybe a little more youthful, a little more emotional, uh, that kind of thing. They think very affectionately of you in a romantic sense. The Page of Cups can be a bit dreamy sometimes. This is someone who also can be seen as like an admirer, you know, a crush, someone coming towards you, thinking, like I say, thinking of you in their romantic sense, dreaming about you, very emotional. They may not be the best at relating their emotions because, again, they're not the knight, not the queen, not the king. You know, they're st in this kind of page energy. They don't know how to convey those emotions, okay? Um, and they may be trying to read you a little bit too, maybe feeling a bit intimidated by you just because of the power, the presence that you have. In their feelings here, we do have the King of Wands, so you could go with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, but this is somebody who, you know, wants to take control, they desire you. You know, the King of Wands can also be somebody who's spontaneous and fun, adventurous, you know, they, they make you feel alive. They have like this flame, this fire, this passion, this drive, that motivation, that creativity about them. You know, qualities that you do admire. They may even bring you out of your shell a little bit too, I want to say for some of you. For some of you, this could be someone, like say, who's a bit adventurous or, you know, like they may have like their own business or like some kind of creative, like uh, entrepreneurial type thing, you know, they, they may have created something here uh, with that King of Wands. But their feelings are fiery and passionate about you. Obviously they feel very deeply attracted to you. Like I say, there's that obvious chemistry here with that death, the devil card, you know. They can't quite break the, the chains that bind the two of you together, okay? They can't stop thinking about you. They want to come towards you. Again, genders are relevant here. Now for some of you though, I do want to say we do have three people here so far. So some of you, this could indicate a triangle, a third party situation. Uh, and, and like I said in a lot of my readings, for those of you who are new, a third party is not always a physical person. A third party is an energy that someone allows to come between you and the connection, right? You know, we've got you, we've got them, and then we've got that third energy that, you know, that, they, that they're focusing on, that they're allowing to kind of separate the two of you, work, addictions, you know, unhealed trauma, karmic cycles, situations, um, that kind of thing. Can truly, can truly manifest as anything. Um, but more often than not, it can be third party as in a physical person. But I am seeing three people here for some of you, and again, that's not for all of you. We have, you know, an older woman, we have an older man, we have a younger woman, okay, for some of you. That could be a part of the issue for some of you. Now, this is your energy, Pisces, okay, and again, Flip it, twist it, reverse it. This is general. Place yourself where it resonates, okay? Maybe reverse for some of you, okay? Um, this is your energy. So there could be, you know, this colder woman here. You know, someone who's kind of harsh, kind of blunt, controlling at times, perhaps. You know, this toxic karmic energy. Okay, and then we have like this more experienced masculine energy that wants to like take control. And then they may see you as like this loving, carefree, you know, gentle, kind, creative, you know, very new energy. All right. In their intentions, we have the three of wands. So this is yearning, wishing, waiting, hoping, praying, looking for opportunities, looking for a chance to move forward. You know, maybe they don't see a clear path as of right now because again I do feel like there is distance here like I, said, I kept getting that world energy and we have you know this card here which talks about this you know though we may be physically apart spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missing they're always with you they may not have told you how they feel though like you may see this as like a friendship type connection but they're deeply in love with you kind of thing communication is key here this is a time for healing someone healing from some kind of karmic cycle they've been trapped in their potential actions. We have the Nine of Wands. So there's a defensiveness here. Look, I need to protect. Under the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. Protect what? The creation of a fresh start. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Chariot, Cancerian energy, and the Page of Pentacles. That could be children involved for some of you, and that could be a part of the issue. But I do feel strongly that travel distance is, you know, majorly contributing to this. And offer a message or news needs to come through here. Someone kind of is keeping how they feel hidden. Ooh, the moon here, Pisces, Cancer energy. 
you know, five of wands, if they're conflicted about how to tell you that they truly see you as their, their person, they may not have told you how they feel because maybe one or both of you is in another situation. Okay. Um, but I feel like they're afraid of rejection here. Gemini, Virgo energy, Aries energy with the emperor, you know, wanting to manifest and take control. Yeah, King of Swords. Somebody here could be married to this Queen of Swords type energy. Let's get some clarified cards. Let me grab another deck. Just bear with me one moment. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put this over here just so we have a little more room. Okay. Clarify their thoughts. Why are they, what are their thoughts here with this page of cups? Why is this here? The world there it is yeah they need to come towards you and express emotions this could be starting a new chapter here like so they could be very much afraid of a direction there could be the distance here that's part of the the issue uh this could be communication a message of love coming to you over the internet over the web via text email social media their feelings are, are very passionate about you and they want to come towards you they want to communicate these things they want to move swiftly um this person they, I, I get like the strong energy of like needing to travel. Like they're, they're, look at that. Um, let's, let's look under the deck, the chariot here. They, they needing to travel, needing to come towards you, needing to, needing to, needing to move, needing to communicate. But like they, ha they can't reach you. It's like they can't reach you in person. Because this is all about like the, you know, messages, letters, text. This could be a call. With their intentions, three of one. Like, they're waiting for the right time to walk away from a situation. I feel like they've already emotionally detached from it. But they haven't fully walked away from it yet. Because the moon still lingers ahead here. So they don't know what they're walking into. It's still dark out. They don't know what they're walking ahead into, right? They need to communicate about this. What is their actions here with this uh, nine of wands? Okay. So it's like, yeah. Yeah, it's like this defensiveness here. Like, holding on to something. They could be afraid of, of financial loss if they move forward and speak their truth. They may be afraid that you may walk away from them. You may not be interested. They may feel like the ball is in your court here and they have to make some kind of decision. You know, if there's finances or something involved, you know, because we do have like the Seven of Pentacles here and the Four of Pentacles, they could be afraid that someone, you know, may hold finances like a boss or a karmic partner or family mother paternal figure may hold finances over their head kind of thing the devil yeah there could be like this devil energy here like they're waiting to come towards you and open their heart to you they could wait for you to reveal how you feel as well um it's like they don't they don't feel assured yet okay and it's like communication is so important here this is time for healing the situation this person could also be struggling with some kind of karmic addiction or lesson you know that's kind of been holding them back some kind of um karmic trauma I want to say that they need to be you know restoring themselves from and building themselves up from building up that confidence and I feel like this person does present like a lot of physical confidence but internally they may be lacking some of that not wanting to let this connection go I do see a start here but it starts with communication and travel like a message could be coming in here that they want to come towards you and this message like say this this message is like a meeting can't let's get together because they want to offer you something like in hand they want to hand it to you right they don't want to just you know text it out write it out send off a letter kind of thing they want to do this to with you face to face a destined meeting they reveal stronger feelings for you than they thought, right? Than you thought they had, right? So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. Also, be sure to check out my new channel. Um, I'll be posting videos on there once in a while, um, as often as I'm able to. I'll be putting up weekly polls, you know, asking you guys what kind of questions you want answered. We'll do a pick a pile on the most popular voted topic. Um, so definitely go subscribe and leave suggestions for what type of questions you want me to ask in those readings, okay? All right, as always, I'm wishing you guys strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.